Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs, cats, and squirrels, or anybody that might want to listen to an old man like me. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. I'm back like cook crack today. Hello, world. Hey, guys. Um, went to the VA yesterday. Got my uh, blood pressure medicine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Got my blood pressure, man. I keep me alive <laughs> another day. <laughs> okay, so now I got to go back and get my glasses. All right? And you remember the other day I told you soldiers that uh, I, I uh, went on a blank mission. And so, you know, I had to drop down and give you guys 50 uh, push-ups, all my uh, veterans. I had to drop down and give you 50 because I went out there on a blank mission, a soldier. Went out on a blank mission. So I dropped down and gave everybody 50. I promise I did. Next time my video, if I have to do it again on a blank mission, I pray I don't have to do no more blank missions. I don't do blank missions. I don't care if I have to go to the store and get a candy bar. Man, some store gonna give me that candy bar if it ain't there. I'ma find it. I'm not coming back home until I find it. That's the missions I be going on. You already know. Come on, Marine. <laughs> Soldiers, I'm sorry. Veterans. I was just in the Hall of Marines. I forgot, man, we got veterans in every branch. Hello, world. All right, so anyway, guys, you know my story. Every day that I come on, I'm going to uplift my veterans every single day that God give me breath. I'm going to uplift my veterans. Uh, guys, yesterday I was in the VA. I got to see a, um, a Korean veteran yesterday. You know, my uncle's a Korean veteran. My uncle is 98 years old, living in Tampa. And uh, he's a Korean vet. Shout out to my uncle, Willie Lee Gilchrist. I mean, Jimmy Lee Gilchrist. Uh, and this gentleman, uh, yesterday I spoke on my other video, 93 years old. And uh, in a wheelchair. But man, he still have all his faculties. Just like my uncle still have all his faculties. Thank God for that. But uh, they can't move around. You know what I'm saying? So what would be a better way than we get our veterans out to football games who love sports? This gentleman I met yesterday said he loves sports. And my uncle already know he loves sports. I already told you earlier in some videos, which I always talk about my uncle. He's an encyclopedia of sports. I, I don't care if it's horse racing. I don't care if it's golf. I wouldn't care if it's uh, water polo. My uncle can tell you anything about it. He, he's the greatest I'd ever seen when it comes to sports. The young man know everything about sports. I used to sit with my uncle and we just chop it up, man, with sports. I love that type of stuff, man. What a great uncle. And he's a Korean vet, man, 98 years old. And this when I met yesterday in the VA, 93 years old. I, I got to reach out to these people, man, and just give them a... Uh, a warm a warm hug, a warm embrace of love. Let them know what we feel. Um, and if you're serious and genuine. Don't you know when I hugged that man yesterday, don't you know he knew I was genuine? He, he looked me right in my eye. He could tell. I could tell when I'm talking to people. You know, you could tell when people are genuine, man. I have to always mention that genuineness and sincereness. You got to be sincere when you're talking to people, when you're talking about this military thing, about, uh, man, thank you for your service. You know, it's just nothing you just say. You got to really mean it. And we're going to respect that. And we're going to honor that. And thank you so much, my veterans. Now, let me get to the real part. All my veterans that's sitting over there in that war zone, hey, man, I hope you're really safe over there. Please stay safe because I promise you we're over here being very safe because you keeping us safe. All you guys over there in that war zone, all you ladies over there in that war zone, you keeping us safe over here so we can continue to maintain our democracy. Thank you over there in that war zone. Now, all my veterans in the nursing home, I'm really hoping that my nurses and doctors, which I know, I, I, I know with sincerity and confidence that they're taking very good care of you. Because these nurses and doctors, you got to remember, man, they went to school and they, they dedicate their whole life to take care of you. Ain't that a beautiful thing? They already knew what they was going to do when they was kids. I didn't know what I was going to do when I was a kid. I didn't know now until I'm 68 years old what I want to do. And that's be a sports journalist and look out for my little veterans. If I don't do nothing but say, hi, veterans. You know what I mean? Thank you for your service. I think I did a great job because I told you, as long as I breathe, I'm going to always say every day, veterans, and I'm going to have me a bugle call. I'm going to call you guys every single day. You have to say, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. We're going to find you. Now, you're the good part. I'm going to find all the veterans, guys. Listen at me closely. I'm going to find all the veterans that got deep, deep pockets, that's already got these jets, that's already got these motorhomes, that's already got these yachts, that's already got these buses. 
And uh, once I reach out to them, I, I identify with them and let them know what we're doing. Getting all my veterans, they, that's quadriplegics, uh, uh, invalids, uh, one leg missing, can't, can't get out of that wheelchair, can't move. And we get them there. We uplift them to that airplane. We uplift them to that bus. We uplift them to the, uh, 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 the ramp, to that yacht. Man, we get them to a football game. Because, you know, we got some stadiums, they right on the ocean, baby. <laughs> what? We got some stages right on the ocean, man. And we can just pull that yacht right up next to the football stadium on the water. That's why we're talking about them byways. So we talking about airplanes on runways and motorhomes on, on, on driveways. Not driveways, I mean freeways. But I could get a car in the driveway. I can could, I could get a veteran in there too. <laughs> Hello, world. But no, we talking about airplanes on runways and motorhomes on uh, freeways. We're going to get that done, man. I want to see every veteran in, in one of those vehicles, man, going to a football game. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's going to be a truly beautiful thing. So anyway, guys, I want to shout out to my veterans every day. You're going to get a shout out. I'm headed to the VA. Oh, I'll be back this afternoon. I'm hoping that I get all kind of good content over at the VA like I did the other day on my first interview with the nurse at the VA. I hope I can get um, some good content this evening, man. Oh, and then I tell you guys, uh, you know, the other day I was interviewing a nurse, and um, I chopped the lady head off. Y'all got to bear with me. I'm very new at this. I think I'm now six or seven days in, and uh, I went to try to, you know, develop my business. So I bought this little stick, and I and, and I charged it up, ready to put it on my phone, and a piece missed. <laughs> <laughs> but man, I ain't nothing but the devil at work. That ain't nothing but the devil at work. He didn't want me to go to deal with the VA and Air Force, but I'm gonna still go over to the VA and Air Force. I just won't have my stick. But I'm going to take this thing back to Walmart, and they give me a piece. Cause I think I did a video with him in Walmart. I was showing all these uh, pieces, this box I bought. So anyway, I'm gonna take it back because the piece missing. But I'm doing my best, guys. And one day I'm gonna be able to video edit. You know, I'm gonna be able to video and do all the editing. I'm working on that right now, but I'm going to really, truly take time, man, because I'm a novice at that type of thing. I mean, I'm a really, truly greenhorn, but you best believe I'm going to get this thing right. Now, guys, I'll tell you, when I get back from the VA, I got some good news. Uh, this is for my Colorado Buffalo fans. Man, listen, this title of this one going to be, listen up, listen well, it's going to be all the great places to eat in California and save some money. When you're going to that UCLA football game, baby, because California is one of my stomping grounds. And I'm going to tell you where you can save all your money, where you go get all some good food, man. I mean, plate full of food and don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Hello, world. Hello, money. Oh, and before I go to, I got to, I reach out and shout out to two companies, man, and a YouTube channel, uh, Sensation. Um, the, the first two companies, one is called the John Wayne Pest Control. That's the gentleman that come in and do the uh, pest control here. And, man, he does a great job. He's a wonderful guy. I told him, hey, man, I'm going to shout out John Wayne, uh, pest control that day in Lexington, Kentucky, baby. John Wayne ain't never had a bug in my house, never seen a roach, never seen nothing. I mean, nothing, man. You know, thank you, man. You did a great job. And the next guy I want to talk to is a really, really good friend of mine. I know him personally. And this gentleman named Tyke Martin. Now, Tyke Martin, he owned a pest control company as well. Now, this gentleman, uh, pest control, I think it's in Leslie County, Hazard County, Harlan County. He over in the eastern Kentucky area. Uh, and the name of his company is called uh, Bluegrass Pest Management Company. Man, what a great, great company. What a great, great guy. Now, here's a gentleman that has a heart of gold. Love helping people. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I done seen him in action. I know him personally. You know, uh, we got he got a houseboat in Tennessee, him and his uh, fiance. And uh, we go out there on the river uh, just about every other weekend if the weather is permitting. And we had just have a great time, man, just bonding, chopping it up, talking about life. And uh, he's a great guy, man. That's why his business is so successful. And he's going to be a great, great success all the way through his life. All the way through his life is going to be a great success. And it's an honor for me to be a friend of his. I really, truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. Tyke Martin, shout out to Bluegrass Pest Management, baby. <laughs> hey, guys, if any of you ever need a pest control and you're over in that eastern Kentucky area, I don't care where you're at, Tyke will come to you. Mr. Tyke Martin, he will come to you. Man, I, you know, he just told me the other day, man, uh, he found a, a, a business, uh, a client, rather, in uh, Paducah. Kentucky. Now, mind you, Paducah is quite a ways, man. We talking about maybe 
three, four hours. But that's how well Ty would go take care of his customers, man. Okay, if it was one customer, I would travel like that too if it took me three hours because that customer going to see the appreciation and the dedication and going to help take out and probably get him more customers. Because people look at your dedication, man. People look at your appreciation. You can believe that. And they like my coach Prime. You know, he just watch everything from a distance, but he keep receipts. You can believe he keep receipts. But anyway, Tyke, it was a pleasure. Bluegrass Pest Management, shout out to you, boy. Now I got to go over there and talk about a young lady named Jill Martin, my YouTube channel sensation, baby. <laughs> Man, and I know her too. Now, this is Tyke Martin's daughter. You know, they invited me one other day to a um, Halloween. Uh, uh, I don't know what you call them. A, a Halloween party, a Halloween get together. I don't know. But as I'm coming down the street, I see everything lit up, everything beautiful on the street where uh, Miss Jill Martin lived. And uh, I had no idea what I was going to be running into. So anyway, when Ty take me over to see Jill, we walking up the steps, going into the house, man, I was blown away. I had never in my life ever seen anything like it. I had never seen a Halloween this beautiful. I mean, everything was beautiful, man. The food was good. The, the setup was good. Man, I'm 68 years old. I have seen a lot of Halloweens, but I had never seen a beautiful Halloween like that. And if you know what I'm, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to her page. I didn't know how to put the link in. I'm gonna learn that. But her name is Jill Martin, and she got a YouTube page. I call her a YouTube sensation for her because you ought to see all the people that love what she do for Halloween. And uh, she probably do a lot of other things, but I'm talking about what I seen when I went over to her home. Man, it was laid out. I had never seen Halloween like it in my life. I'm still getting chill bumps, man. I was like, wow, it's amazing. I mean, to sit in the home and to see where it all started at and where she did all these things at. See, I'm not looking at it from the outside. I was on the inside of this young lady's home. Man, she got a beautiful daughter, beautiful husband, Joe. Shout out to my boy, Joe. Uh, man, I, I can't wait to see you guys again. But yeah, man, you got to go down there and check her page out. It's called Jill Martin. Yo. You'll find it on YouTube. You'll see all that good... Uh, Halloween stuff. You would know the minute you see her. That's our website. But anyway, Jill, I had to shout you out, sweetheart. Man, guys, you're doing wonderful jobs. Keep that YouTube page going. I'm going to always be one of your biggest followers. I'm going to make sure a lot of other people follow you because there's a lot of other people I love Halloween type stuff too. And there's going to be a lot of people that need pest control too. And then, Tank, I'm going to shout them out for you. I'm going to always point them your way. So, guys, I got to get on to the VA, get my glasses so I can see you better. And I'll be back this afternoon with some great content from my Colorado Buffaloes and my veterans. Hey, take care. Have a great day. God bless each and everybody. And I'll see you when I get back from the VA, baby, with some new glasses. Hello, world. Hello, money. Oh, and before I go to the world, you might be one person, but to that one person, you just might be the world. Hello, world. Hello, money. God bless each and every one of you.